heartless killer you'll agree is both dangerous and deadly. And there are millions of them out there. Yes, that's our theme today. Things that can be lovely and lethal. They're everywhere. On land, in the sea, and, I'm afraid to say, in the air. We do have our defences, though. Against a 10-metre-long Bushmaster, you need a strong cabinet and some dry ice. Against tigers, it pays to have eyes in the back of your head. Let's start in the sunshine, a coral reef, crystal clear seas, and some of the deadliest creatures on Earth. Yes, bad luck, they're found in every single ocean. Gracefully pulsating from the depths, a gigantic blob, 95% water and 100% dangerous. A jellyfish, a jet-propelled gelatinous mass with no brain, no bones, and no heart. It may look beautiful, like a floating flower, but it's got one hell of a sting in its tail. Well, tentacles. It's literally a mindless, heartless, spineless killer. A brush with one of these could be your last brush with anything. Symptoms of an encounter range from burning, stinging lacerations to paralysis, heart attacks, and even death. 55 people a year are killed by jellyfish stings. One of the best known stingers, the Portuguese man of war. Trailing below this colorful, innocuous looking gas filled float is an army of tentacles which can grow up to five meters long. On contact, hundreds of venom filled harpoons are fired into the victim. These nematocysts are the jelly's weapons. Barbed threads filled with toxin paralyze the victim in seconds. But not every creature fears them. Knowing that many predators avoid conflict with jellies, some fish actually seek their protection. A dangerous liaison, but a highly effective one. If you think that two's company, then 300 is definitely a crowd. A thimble jelly, no bigger than, well, a thimble never travels alone. In the Bahamas, hundreds of tiny thimble jellies collect in the shallows. Why they congregate like swarming bees is not too clear. And like bees, they give a nasty sting. Stumbling into a mob of them is irritating, to say the least. The fierce tides could cause the swarm, but they don't really explain the numbers. A fleet of venomous ropilemma can be 50 kilometers long and three kilometers wide. Maybe they like the company. But large numbers attract attention, and this swarm of moon jellies has picked up a deadly hanger-on. A lion's mane, the largest jellyfish in the world. It devours moons for lunch, Found in the cool waters of the North Atlantic, its umbrella can be two and a half meters across, and its tentacles can extend over half the length of a football field. Come into contact with one of these, and it's night night moon, as it's slowly absorbed into a much larger lump. Whether swarming or going solo, jellyfish are a whole lot of jelly that's not to be messed with. Before you write them off as a plastic bag wannabe, remember, what these guys hide up their sleeves is capable of killing you. 
Not bad for a brainless blob. Jellyfish are in fact not fish, nor jelly. They're from a group called Cnidarian. 